Mm. Oh, that's cold. Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Delilah. If you're new here, I make homemaking and motherhood content here on my channel every single week. And today's video is an updated how I meal plan, grocery shop, and I'm gonna share a haul at the end of this video as well. I've shared this on a number of occasions throughout the years, and for the most part, my, my method has stayed the same, but it's been modified as our family grows. We are now a family of six. We are eating more food now than ever before, and I am making more things from scratch now than I ever have before. I've learned a lot over the last number of years and I am continually working to be as prepared as possible in the kitchen when it comes to dinners and meals. I've learned that always being one step ahead is key to having a household run smoothly, especially a household with many young children. So today I'm sharing an updated version of how I meal plan and meal prep and all of that stuff. I'm gonna take you along with me as I plan my meals for this next week. And as I write up my grocery list, I'm gonna take you through my fridge and my pantry and just kind of um, bring you into my brain, I guess, and share how I do this. I'm just gonna be honest and straight up say that I do not budget. I know a lot of people do, and I wish I was that person, but I'm not that person. That just overwhelms me way too much. Instead, I try and be very aware of good deals at the grocery store. I try and buy in bulk, especially as our family grows. There are a lot of items that I can buy in bulk. We have a couple of deep freezers downstairs where we can store a lot of stuff. That way we can take advantage of sales when there's sales and buying in bulk is generally cheaper than buying smaller portions. I also try and buy locally as much as I can. There's actually a lot of things that we personally can buy locally that is more affordable than buying from the grocery store. Plus we're getting the benefits of local food, plus we're supporting local farmers, local shop owners. When I am making my meal list, I try and plan it around things that we already have, things in our freezer, our pantry, our fridge, so that I'm not wasting any food. It also saves on the grocery budget because I'm not buying absolutely everything for the meals on my meal list because we already have some of those ingredients on hand. And again, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes this just doesn't happen. I do my best and I try to keep ahead and I try to plan, but you know, there are seasons of life where I just can't. In those weeks, I will resort to other methods in order to keep home cooked meals on the table for my family. That's where HelloFresh comes in and I wanna say a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. With HelloFresh, you get a box delivered to your door every single week, saving you a trip to the grocery store without having to sacrifice homemade meals. Each week you get to choose from over 45 different meal options. I mean, with that many meal options, there's a little something for everyone. Whether you have picky eaters in the house, <laughs> or maybe you need something really quick and easy, or maybe you want to do something a little bit outside of your comfort zone and try something that you've never tried before. HelloFresh has you covered. This week we've got cheesy Tex-Mex orzo skillet. Ooh. Barbecue um, pork and apple meatballs. And we have honey garlic chicken bowls. Oh, daddy's gonna like that one. Your box will come with all these recipe cards. They have really easy to follow instructions on the back and then you get to keep these recipes for life. When we have a recipe that we really enjoy, we actually keep them and I can come back to these recipes later on in the future when I'm meal planning and we can eat them over and over again. Your box also comes with farm fresh ingredients and all of the food is pre-portioned and ready to go which makes it really easy when you're cooking and it wastes less food. I love how flexible HelloFresh is. Like if I don't want a box one week, I can very easily skip that week. If I'm on vacation and I want a box delivered to my vacation spot, I can just change the delivery address. Or if I have an especially busy week and I need to add more meals to my box, I can easily do that. You can even shop their expanded menu and explore all kinds of different options. They've got desserts, they've got snacks, they even have breakfast. In fact, HelloFresh is offering you a special discount. You can go to hellofresh.com and use my code Lepke's Life Free to get free breakfast for life. You'll get one breakfast item per box while your subscription is still active. That's hellofresh.com. Use my code Lepke's Life Free to get free breakfast for life. And he's squealing over there. She's excited. <laughs> Which one should we have tonight? This one? Yeah. yeah. 
That one? Which one? Barbecue pork and apple meatballs. You each chose a different one. <laughs> okay, we gotta get Daddy here. He's gonna be the tiebreaker. Okay, so we have a dilemma. I asked what they wanted to eat, and mm. each child chose a different one. Oh boy. So, you are the tiebreaker. Let's do a barbecue pork and apple meatballs. Oh, I'm surprised! Oh, meatballs! So surprised. meatballs so okay, so meal planning. What does that look like? I meal plan every single week. I usually do this on the weekends because we usually go grocery shopping on Mondays. I mostly just plan suppers and I don't plan a meal for every single day of the week because a lot of the time we will have an event over supper time or we'll leave the window open for a bunch of leftovers if we have leftovers or for a snacky meal or maybe we'll do takeout one day or sometimes we get invited out to dinner. I usually do about five or six, usually five suppers each week. And I, that's pretty much all I plan for is just suppers. Rarely do I plan lunches because nine times out of 10, there are leftovers in the fridge from supper the day before. And I don't plan breakfast either. Those I'll just do on the fly. We'll, we kind of rotate through the same few things. We'll have either cereal or oatmeal, um, some form of egg, some form of bread or toast or bagels. And then a number of items I also make from scratch instead of buying from the grocery store. Things like yogurt, breads, mayonnaise, salad dressings, any form of baking, those things I do from scratch at home. So instead of seeing those things on our grocery list, you're gonna see the supplies I need to make those things. Same goes for like lunches and breakfasts. I just make sure that I have those staples on hand at all times and I don't really need to plan for anything else. When I meal plan, I always start by looking through my fridge, my pantry, my freezers so that I can use up anything in here that needs to be used first. I will also use this time to clear out anything that needs to be thrown away, like this brie that's moldy. For example, I see here that I have some taco meat and some refried beans. These were left over from nachos yesterday, so I can make quesadillas with this leftover stuff. So I'm gonna add quesadillas to my list. I also have some green beans I need to use up. I've got some green onion, I've got some spinach. I can use green beans on the side of something. I can use spinach as a salad, or Honestly, if spinach starts to go bad, I can just freeze it and put it in smoothies. Spinach is one I'm not too worried about. I do have a lot of milk left over this week, so I think I might try my hand at making some mozzarella or some kind of cheese from scratch. So in order to do that, I'm gonna need a few ingredients. We have a few freezers, but in my fridge freezer is where I keep a lot of random things that need to be used. I see a ton of bananas that are frozen. I'm definitely gonna try and make some banana muffins this week. I've got some frozen ham. This would be really good on pizza. So pizza might be a good meal this week. Also taking note that I've got some roast chicken and some frozen peppers. This again would be good on pizza, but I could also use this in things like a noodle dish like chicken fettuccine alfredo. I could use this in an omelet. So going through my freezer every week is a good reminder just for me to know what I've got in here uh, so that I can use it in some way. Ah, I've got some frozen pierogi dough. We're gonna have pierogies this week, I think. Another good way to use up this extra milk would be to make like pancakes or do some baking with it. I could definitely make some pancakes this week for breakfast. I can also do some extra baking. I can use that in things like um, muffins. I can also use it when I'm making oatmeal um, or lattes. Like there's lots of ways that I can use this. I just got to make sure that I do that. You're seeing me on my phone a lot in this video and that's because I'm writing everything out on my notes app on my phone. This is how I've always done my grocery planning like for the last how many years that we've been married and I've been living on my own. This is how I've been writing out my grocery list and it's really nice because my phone is almost always with me so if I ever think of something I can easily add it to the list. I've got a groceries folder on here. On top, I have supper ideas. I have extra, extra things that I wanna make throughout the week. So for example, I put banana muffins on this list. Um, I'm gonna add pancakes to this list. And then I'm gonna put matzo with a question mark because I'm not sure if that's something I'm gonna be brave enough to tackle this week or not. So on the top, I've got my uh, meal ideas, things that I wanna make this week. And then beneath it, I've got three running grocery lists. One for Costco, one for a general grocery store, one for Dad's Organic, and then one for local places. As I'm going through my fridge and I'm getting my recipes together and I'm writing down my ingredients, I can add the ingredients to 
certain lists that I know would be the best place to pick it up. Like for example, we buy our butter in bulk from Costco and then we freeze it and we're getting low on butter. So I put butter on the Costco grocery list. Uh, but things like strawberries or bananas, we don't eat as much of, so we buy those from a local grocery store so that we're not wasting any food. Zach is also connected to this list, which is great because if he ends up doing the grocery shopping, I don't have to give him a list. He's already got it. My pantry is another place I'll go through each week to make sure we are stocked up on the staples that we need. Um, right now, it looks like we're a little bit low on snacks, so I'm gonna add snacks to the list. I can see we're low on coconut oil, so I'm gonna add that to the Costco list. We are running low on pecans. Pecans is a Costco item. I'm just gonna run downstairs and check my baking goods inventory. Whenever something is on sale, or say we're at Costco and we're bulk buying stuff, I will buy extras and then store it downstairs because it stays good for a long time and I go through it pretty fast. Now downstairs we have two deep freezes. We've got a meat deep freeze, and we've got another one over here in our cold storage. We get most of our meat in bulk locally, so we have a dedicated meat freezer just for that, which is really nice because when I am meal planning, I can just take a look in there and see what we've got and pick from there instead of actually going to the store and buying what I need. We also pick up things like fresh milk and eggs locally every single week. So those things you don't see on my grocery list unless we need something specific, um, like a certain cut of meat for a meal, or maybe we need extra cream or milk or something, then we will grab that from the store. And here's where we've got some bulk pantry items, as well as our upright freezer. So in here, I did a massive meal prep when I was pregnant and this thing was full, but it's not anymore, it's pretty empty. Um, I am noticing, like I said, we're almost out of butter, so we need to buy some more butter. We could use a couple other super quick meals, like there is an occasion where we will have yakisoba or pot stickers or something like that and those are good costco items to buy when we go shopping we have a couple meals left over from when i meal prepped when i was pregnant so i think we might have this this week this is chicken peanut curry so i can add that to the list we've got rice for that down here and then all i need to do is make some naan bread which is really easy um so that's a good example of a meal i can make this week that we don't even have to buy any ingredients for because we already have everything in our home. We are almost out of cornstarch upstairs, but I'm seeing we've already got some down here, so I can take that off the list. We've got some pastas, we've got some chicken broth, we're running low on bubbly. That's become a staple in our home. That's a Costco item. What else? We've got lots of rice, we've got lots of sugars, we've got some flour, we could probably use some more, so that would be a Safeway item. We've got some canned goods. <coughs> We've got some potatoes. Okay, so I've got an idea of the stuff that we need, but I guarantee you as we're walking through Costco, as we're walking through Daz Organic, I'm gonna start seeing things that I forgot about. I'm that person who walks all the aisles to make sure that I didn't miss anything because I would much rather have a little bit extra and be able to use it somehow or keep it in storage than having to make another trip to the grocery store. All right, now that I have a good idea of what I got in my home already, now I can make a meal list and a grocery list. All right, here is my meal list. I feel like I came up with a really good meal list this week and everything kind of works together. So let me walk you through it. We have the peanut chicken curry, which I mentioned before. Uh, quesadillas, which I also mentioned. Uh, so for that, I don't really need to buy anything other than cheese for the quesadillas. I make the taco shells from scratch at home. We've already got all those ingredients and all of this is just me kind of using up what we've got. As for the other meals, I have a roast chicken, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Again, using up those green beans that are in the fridge. And I love doing a whole roast chicken because I can use leftovers from that for multiple meals throughout the week. For example, we can make pizza with the chicken, leftover chicken. We do chicken bacon ranch pizza and then a ham and cheese pizza using the frozen ham in the freezer. Ooh, I could also make a salad with that using up the spinach. Using the bones from the whole roast chicken, I'm gonna make bone broth. And then with that bone broth and leftover chicken, I can make chicken lemon orzo soup, which is one of my family's favorites. And then I also wanted to use up the frozen pierogi dough that's in the freezer. So with the leftover mashed potatoes from a previous meal, I'm gonna make a filling simply by mixing together mashed potatoes and cheese to fill my pierogies with. 
Um, and we've got sausage downstairs and leftover green beans on the side. I think that's a really solid meal plan and I think we are ready to go grocery shopping. Okay, we just got back from a giant grocery trip. We went to three places. We went to Dad's Organic, which I didn't realize was a Saskatchewan specific shop, but basically it's like a, an organic foods type of store. We tried out a new grocery store and then we also went to Costco. And this is what we came home with. This is a lot. It's it's a ton. This is a lot more than we would get week to week, but like I said, this is a big bulk grocery shop. So we bought a lot more this week than we normally would. Lots of things that will go in our freezer, pantry staples, some extra snacks, some extra, you know drinks and things like that. And Eloise really, really, really wants to do a grocery haul with me, so she is going to uh, help me. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold something up and you're gonna say what it is. And Annie will probably be screaming in the background because she wants to be a part of this too. Like I said, we don't get a lot of meats at the grocery store, but if something is on sale or if we need something specific, we'll grab it. So we got a couple of meat cuts that were on sale at Costco and then also some uh, frozen breakfast sausage patties that we really enjoy for breakfast sandwiches. So we'll start with meats. Okay, let's play Eloise guesses what this is. Uh, beef pot roast. Pot roast. This one looks funny. Worm chicken. Worm chicken? Yeah, it looks like a worm. <laughs> this is a pork loin center and rib. We just cut this up and use it as pork chop. Sausage patties. Avocado oil. In spray form. Avocado oil, not in spray form. Coconut oil. Hold on. A thousand butter. Ten. Ten butters. Organic butter. Tap, tap, tap. Sea salt. Vanilla. Oat cream. Smoked cheese. Mozzarella? Mm hmm. Decided I wasn't ambitious enough to make my own mozzarella this time. Hi, Steve Teeth, because mom made homemade bagels. Mm hmm. Crackers. Hi. Noodles, mushy bags, apple sauce. My dad's organic sauce. <laughs> Tater sauce. This is new. Do you know what this is? This is organic hard red spring wheat for my wheat grinder You're that I'm gonna try. Cover. This is something new, something I haven't gotten before. Soup. Whole bunch of canned soup. I found a brand that has really clean ingredients. So like cream of mushroom soup is great for casseroles. They even have like alphabet soup, which would be great for meals on the fly. Snacks. Cookies. Chocolate covered strawberry. <laughs> Frozen chocolate covered strawberries. These are a treat from Costco. Mommy's snacks. These are my nightstand snacks. Pizza crackers. Boom, chicken pop. Dried strawberries. Dried strawberries. Suckers. These are really, really good. These are my treats. Mommy's mm -hmm. chocolate. These are so good. Bubbly. Bubbly. We got some citric acid for making mozzarella one day. Activated charcoal as well as grape juice. Hoping this is going to help combat nasty stomach bugs because we've already been through two of those this winter. One, two. And fruit. Blueberries and strawberries. <laughs> Lemon. Avocado. Bananas. Cooking. Celery. Rawr. And that's it. And that's the end of today's video. That is what a big monthly grocery shop looks like for us. And then in between, shops are very, very small, mostly just picking up basics, things like fruit, things like vegetables, and maybe any other small things that I might need for the recipes I'm making that week. I gotta put all this stuff away, so I'm gonna go. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Options, meal options. But that many meat. <laughs>